Um, Navarro is going to be in the uh, in the room for the dinner. Not good. Uh, that's a statement in and of itself. Uh, Josh, uh, wouldn't you say? Yeah, I think this whole concept that you're going to put a trade on based on what might come from Buenos Aires is the height of absurdity um, because you don't know who Trump's going to get into the elevator last uh, uh, with last. If it's Kudlow, maybe you get a, a more conciliatory tone. If it's Navarro, maybe you don't. This is not investing. This is nonsense. So, let so me ask you this. Do, I, you I would need, do you need anything to come out of, of this meeting to have a rally into the end of the year? No, because you, 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 had, a rally, you, you had a rally. You had a rally this week and, and no developments on trade. And if anything, worse developments politically for the president. You had so the best I don't week, by the it. way. Do you know you had the best week for the Dow in Since mid-February. No, since mid-February. Best the week. S oh, for the Dow. I, I'm an S&P person. The S&P had its best week since the calamity late January, early February, that second week of February. We had a monster rally. We had one just now. It looks about the same. And a big comeback, Scott, for some big and very crucial stocks for the market. Amazon, NVIDIA, and Netflix all up 10% or better. The problem is, when you look back at the monthly candles, nothing's fixed. Um, and, and then you look at the leadership, it remains utilities, health care, and staples. Not in that order, but still, um, that has not changed. So you did have a nice bounce for the Qs. Apple, not really much of a bounce at all. I mean, it's on balance. It's okay. It's not great. The one thing I will say that you have to respect, even if you're a bear, is that after a huge day on Wednesday, because of Powell, if that's what you want to look at, um, we didn't give anything back. We're hanging at the high end of the range in a lot of crucial sectors. Yeah, so I, I even if you're bearish, you got to just say, all right, there's a little bit of follow through. Okay, Brenda, do, are, we, are we setting ourselves up for, for a, a move? I think we need some kind of good news out of this meeting in order to get a year-end rally. Because I think, uh, unlike the Fed, the tariff situation has the potential to really impact corporate earnings as early as the first quarter. You know, Goldman Sachs had a note out yesterday, late in the day, saying that uh, S&P 500 earnings could be impacted by 7% uh, by tariffs. That assumes no costs are passed on. Of course, we know that some of those costs are absolutely going to be cast, passed along. But nevertheless, it really clouds the picture for corporate earnings growth. And it, it, it makes our job more granular in terms of figuring out who the winners and losers are going to be in terms of who's going to be able to pass along costs. 